What up guys, Paradox back with more tech. I'm here with a uh, custom upgrade for your 3.8, 3.9, 4.2 V6 X6 engines. Uh, this is going to be a fuel rail mod that I figured out uh, a couple years ago um, when I was exploring uh, a, a Freestar fuel rails. Um, so what we got in the center is this is going to be a Mustang fuel rail. Uh, this is going to be a Freestar fuel rail as well as this is a Freestar fuel rail. Uh, the significance, not making much in... Uh, naturally aspirated conditions but um the mustang fuel rail is just small when you're boosted so like for this fuel rail um you're kind of looking at just like an inoptimal setup as well as um this is in the way with some intake swaps um where you're going to a return style fueling if you're really going to be putting some power in it anyways um so when you're looking at the upgraded fuel rails um, at first we're going to go to this Freestar fuel rail. Um, what's going on with it is it does have pros. Um, the pros is, is that it pretty much is plug and play for the Mustang intake setup. Um, the reason being is that you have to go return style fueling. So as you notice where this one has a fuel pressure regulator in the rail, uh, this one does not at all. And that works really good for low profiling. It's like, uh, it will fit really good with just about any intake swap. Uh, I haven't checked it with the Mustang, but I believe if any one of them is going to fit on the Mustang, this is, uh, with the Mustang intake, original OEM intake, this is the only one that may fit. Um, but you would have to go to return style rail. So, uh, the benefits to this, as you see, is that you know you're going to have a lot more fuel at the rail for boosted setup so if you're going to just run a ton of fuel you know this uh this rail is going to be really what you're looking for um out of over a mustang one um these only come on some free stars so when you see the free stars they'll have two different fu uh, fuel rails which like the other one uh you'll see that they have two different styles so um when you have your intake um your fuel is going to be coming in of course on the mustang right here and then it doesn't leave the rail where with the freestyle rail there is a plug here that you're just going to have to pop that plug out and your oem line runs right into that so where you're at is is that you're going to have to run a return line or you have to plug this off with the other one i'll show you um, but with this one you would actually have to run the return style fuel to use the fuel rail the cool benefit is is that you will have all that excess volume at the rail it looks like it's you know double to triple the size so when you're going with the uh, fuel at the rail you're just going to get a lot more with the freestar fuel rails so i did figure this out myself two years ago and since then i've just kind of been telling people but now i'm able to have all three in a row so then we're going to move on to the second one um so this is the big u type design where it's just once again uh the same style rail but uh bigger uh i use this one on both my builds uh the thing is is that it does have the fuel pressure regulator so where with this one you got your fuel pressure sensor uh, I meant sensor. We have your fuel pressure sensor right here. Uh, this is going to be right here and it's only made to really fit a Freestar intake uh, unless you do some modifications of rotating to clock the uh, the sensor itself to um, redrill those holes through the sides of the plastic in the sensor and mount the sensor at a different angle so it doesn't intersect the other intakes. So that's what you would have to do to run that on like a F-150 or a Windstar intake would be to rotate this sensor. I actually haven't checked it on a Windstar. So on a Windstar, you would want to run this type, uh, this type with the uh, return style fueling. Um, so in between these two, it's just going to come down to the same benefits again of having the quite a bit larger volume. You know, you're looking at three to four times the volume in the same fuel rail uh, as well as the difference being in between this one and the other one that um, the crossover for the fueling is the same size as the rail to make sure that you're going to have just a really good um, fuel rail reading at, at the return style so like when you have your um, fuel pressure regulator on the way back on the return line right here you're just going to have a really good read so like you'd have to pop of course this fitting out and then you're going to have your uh, fuel go through the uh, fuel rail and then come out here. So you're just going to get a really efficient reading with this rail. Um, out of the three, I'd have to say that I would take this one. Um, if you're doing a Freestar intake or if you're doing an intake swap, you have to watch out for your fitment on that sensor, of course, uh, and which way it's rotated to make sure it's going to fit with your intake swap. Um, but 
I would say that this is basically the, this was the 2005 to 2008 design. And I believe these just made these 2004 and 2005 part of it. Um, so with these rail, it really just proved out to be the optimal type rail for that, uh, the Freestar, as well as um, in the end, it became our, our boost rail. So like when you look at the three side to side, you know, you're just going to see that I have found that there is still junkyard gold out there that people really haven't gotten into because that fuel rail is going to work quite a bit better for boosted applications than the Mustang fuel rail. So, I'm glad I could show you guys another one of the Paradox Pioneerings from the junkyard. Thank you guys for tuning in for Tech Sport. Let's get you more.